this module, you will gain a basic understanding of the define, measure, analyze, improve, and control steps used in the foundational Demaic methodology that is used in Six Sigma. Almost all of the Six Sigma projects you engage in for processes that are already established will use the Demaic method. The acronym represents each of the five stages of the methodology. Define, measure, analyze, improve, and control. As with any formal problem-solving methodology, the structured approach creates a common understanding and language that promotes effectiveness and efficiency amongst team members, especially when applied to projects. While we won't go into great detail of each of the stages in this overview module, you will get a basic understanding of the Demaic concept and how each of the stages are used within Six Sigma. In the first stage of the Demaic methodology, potential projects are identified, evaluated, and ultimately selected. A problem statement is normally drafted along with goals so that everyone understands what needs to be done. This critical first stage sets the context and scope within each of the project stages, and it tells everyone what should be executed. After everything has been defined, we move on to the measure stage. Here, you begin to collect the appropriate metrics so that you can understand the current state or baseline and any associated constraints with the process you are working on. This is typically done using process maps, value stream mapping, Gemba walkthroughs, videotaping, brainstorming, fishbone diagrams, or any other tool that will allow you to reveal the current state. The third stage reviews the collected metrics and analyzes all pieces of information. A variety of tools can be used to diagnose and present a root cause. Some tools that will help you understand the various issues you will find in the stage are fishbone diagrams, five whys, control charts, process maps, check sheets, Pareto charts, and scatter diagrams. Each of these tools will help you reveal different levels of causation so that you can look to remove the actual cause of the problem and not just the symptoms that occur as a result of the root cause. As you can see, each of the stages in the Demaic method build on one another. Each stage is dependent on the previous stage and cannot move forward without the previous stage's completion and accuracy. Now that we have metrics and analysis available to look at, we can define each of the problem-solving formula variables that you learned about earlier on. Remember, y equals fx plus epsilon. Once these variables are defined, the gap between our current state and goal will be much easier to understand, and we can begin looking at potential countermeasures, refinements, alternative remedies, or improvements for the process that we are looking at. As you identify where and how variances are occurring in the process, you will be able to determine how you can improve the process with solutions that will help you achieve your original goal or solve the initial problem that you defined in a problem statement. After you have a few different solutions that you would like to try out, you can then implement the new process or system within a controlled environment and take some time to monitor and measure the results. This will help you ensure that the process you are about to release is in fact an improved process that can sustain the results that you observe. Some methods that you can use to test your possible improvements are production experiments, simulations, trial runs, and dominant variable testing. In this final control stage, various design controls are established and the improved process is documented. 
a system of measurement for the process is validated to plan for future improvements, and we can ensure the process is performing to the best of its ability. Another critical part of the control phase is the transfer or release of responsibility from the Six Sigma project team back to the business or appropriate department. Once the process has been transferred back to the appropriate process owner, the Six Sigma team will still coordinate with the process owner to ensure sustainability of the project. Many times in the control phase, methods such as Pokeyoke, 5S, statistical process control, regular audits, or a process control plan are used to maintain or sustain the improvements that have been implemented. As you can see, the DMAIC method is a very structured process. Each of the five stages allows a team to guide a problem in the direction of a solution and close gaps within an organization. Keep in mind that each phase of the process will require different individuals and skills to be used. For example, the defined stage collaboration with management and the appointed project lead is crucial in clearly defining a workable problem statement and an achievable goal. In the later stages of the DMAIC methodology, the project team will do the vast majority of the legwork while green and black belts use their experience and skill set to gather needed information. With that said, it is crucial that you have this foundational understanding of the DMAIC method as you will build on it in more advanced modules. We'll see you in the next module.